Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we did the minigame Gassy Horror. Uh, and this time, before we move on to another uh, epic quest, we're going to be doing one more minigame. Alright, let's see. See so yeah, the next one, based on difficulty, we should probably do is it Kraken Time. Let's go ahead and roll with that one. Six minutes, so it should be a relatively challenging one, but probably on the easier side. What? Survive all the temporal cracks appear. Hatch them with ground plants to stop the cracks. What? What? Okay, you're just giving me tier 3 spike weed. Or is that a tier that I can adjust? Actually, I never really experimented with this. So if, if that is tier 3, can I switch the tier like this? Oh, okay. Actually, you know, I might want to keep them tier 3, because I feel like this is something I'm going to have to do a lot of. I could also bring uh, Spike Rock too, if I really wanted to like do something crazy. But what really uh, bothers me is that there are the arcade guys. And I, I think the- and yeah, we also have the Robo Cone guys. I think the Robo Cone guys are probably like my least favorite zombie in the game to deal with. I hate them so much! Yeah, we need like a piercing plant for the arcade guy. We also need a heavy hitter. I think maybe cauliflower. No, there's. I think there's gonna be too many basic zombies. Hmm. Yeah, just like how. What is like the best way of dealing with these robo cones? I guess I really never tried the grim rose. Out. I see, I'm wondering if the Grimrose can actually one-shot Robo-Cones, and that's something I'm, like, really considering here. It's going all Shadow Plant on this level. Because I know they're technically considered Ground Plants, too. I don't know if this minigame would consider that. Hmm. But I can try it here. Let's bring the classic uh, Dusk Lobber. Where is Dusk Lobber? Why am I so bad at finding plants? Why am I so bad? It should be... Wait. I wish there was a, there needs to be like a search option for people like me who are just so stupid. There we go. It's right next to the Grimrose. Like, I want to see if a Grimrose can like one-shot a Robocone. If so, that'd be pretty cool. And then what else? What else? What else? I probably want an early game plant. Told me out. Off. There we go. I don't know if I really want anything. I mean, there's also Hurricane. Hurricane could be like a good late game option. I might try that. Alright, I'm gonna roll with that. Good luck, everybody. But yeah, let's just put or some producers there for right now. See, I don't know how these rifts in time work. <laughs> or rifts in space. Like, is, am I good? Like, what are these black dots? This might be one I have to do a bit of trial and error with. I'm so confused. Okay, first guy there, let's put that out for him. Let me just put another one here, does that affect anything? It doesn't seem like it. Their first moonflower out. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, those two guys should definitely be covered by those uh, dusk lobbers. Let's get another moonflower out there. Expand our territory. Oh, I really should put one on the bottom. Here, let's dig this guy up. Okay, now that should be good for them, I think. 
Let's get try and get another Moonflower out. There we go. Very nice. Our center production is just way better now. Again, I have no idea what these black little things are going to do. I assume maybe like later more will spawn. I don't eat my Sunflower, dude. That's fine. I can replace it. We'll just put a Dust Clobber down there. I'm afraid to like dig up these because I don't know if I'll just like lose or something if I try that. Yeah, so I do I dare even like dig them up? Or more gonna spawn? I like I feel like it would make sense for more to spawn, right? Let's just do another one there, and we'll expand off of that. I might not even, like, well, let's put this guy out for the bucket head. I really need to see if this Grimmos works on the Robo Cones. That's my main concern. See how it works on the arcade. Well, I might want to stun this guy before he crushes my Moonflower. It's not something I want to be losing. Oh, oh shoot, here's a dude. Take him out, take him out! Okay, he doesn't take him out in one hit, but he does do massive damage, it would appear. I did just lose a Moonflower, which kind of sucks. I need to start digging up... Um, yeah, these sunflowers, they're just not that useful anymore. I just need more damage. Oh, he can... Okay, the dust clobber can do that through the arcade cabinet. Very cool. Yeah, I guess I'll dig that up, because I don't... I think I really need it. Yeah, maybe I, like I'm just not supposed to let those spike weeds die. Like maybe I just had to like get rid of the arcade cabinets. And that's like the whole challenge of this level. That's that's what I assume. Okay, let's put a dust clobber here. Get rid of him real quick. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we don't need the uh, regular old sunflowers any anymore. We got the moonflowers for sun production. Okay, let's put a Grimmerose up there to deal with all that mess. Another dust globber up there to like help out. Again, I still don't really understand the main gimmick of this level, right? Uh, let's see, is that guy gonna die? Like, Robocon's moving a little fast, but he also looks fairly weak. Okay, fine, dude. I guess I'll take you out. Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Like, he didn't die from that? I guess I could have hurricaned that, that would probably have been smarter. Yeah, there's so much sun now, I should just be throwing out hurricane all the time. Oh, there we go, that minigame wasn't so bad, but I mean, that was the easy version after all. What is going to be more challenging about this hard one? Or the regular version, I should say. I'm a bit 
Mm, I'm still a bit confused about what the whole rifts in time do. Oh, there's just gonna be more this time. Oh, there. Survival temporal cracks appear. Patch them with ground plants to stop the cracks. Oh, we have piano guys now. So I, so I, my, my hot take is that um, what is it? The uh, the RK guys were like the main threat to the last level, but now we have Gargantuars and Pianos. Again, I'm thinking this might just be like a Shadow Plant level. <laughs> I th yeah, if I think if I just continue to use the same thing, I think we'll be fine. Oh, why didn't I just hit like refresh on my... <laughs> Here, if I just do this, right? Yeah, there we go. I still could have done it, okay. So the spike weeds are a lot closer, which makes which could make them a lot harder to defend. I didn't really use stunning all that much. I almost want to bring like a slowing plant down. Because we we do have bugs that fly relatively quickly. We also have gargantuar. I also didn't really throw out any spike weed last time. I guess I could have done that. I mean it's super cheap with it being tier three, so that should be, work out. I almost want to just get rid of a Stunion. But what would I replace it with? Hmm. hmm. I think I think if we got like a Snow Pea in the back, that could be really good. Or maybe just like a Winter Melon. I feel like getting a tier... Let's do tier 2 Snow Pea. I think that should be good. I'll try and get a, I'll try and get a snow pea in like every row. Yeah, let's just put our sun producers here in column three for right now. Again, no idea what like the rifts in time look like or how they behave. I assume I just have to keep them contained, the ground plants. I guess I should probably should start throwing that out. Oh wait. Uh, shoot, I said I was going to put the snow pea in that row. Okay, that's fine. We'll put, we'll replace that last. Well, I do need some kind of like early game killer, right? Makes sense. I would have at least a little bit of something. Yeah, the, and these spike weeds definitely aren't powerful enough. Or are they? Are they tier 1 spike weeds or tier 3? I'm not sure. Okay, let's just put this out for this guy on the bottom. I think it'd probably be wise to try and get like a moonflower out ASAP. Okay, let's just do this. I'll put that guy there as well. But uh, I guess I think a snow pea would also be like phenomenal. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna throw out sunflowers for right now. Oh, I need something here. Can you die, dude? I know you have like zero HP. Okay, let's get a snow pee out for the top guy. Oh, we got a bug. We got a bug alert! Well, I can just blow that guy away. I forgot it. That's something I can do. So I, don't, I can kind of just blow him away last second if I really want to. Oh, again, I really should have saved my son for the Moonflower. I think that would have been a better investment. Okay, blow you away. Underdancers here in modern day. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good sun production now. Try and keep it up with the moonflowers, though. It's super important that we throw out the moonflowers. Ah, uh, so maybe I should just maybe I should have just popped that piano when I had the chance. Yeah, just do that. 
I really should just do that. I see you, rapper dude. Don't do what you're doing. Let's blow that guy away before he pops the bu I don't want to like deal with the bucket head that close. Is this guy going to die? Well, I can just hurricane him if I really need to. Okay, we'll put we get the snow pea out though. I would say it's fairly important, yeah, to get the snow peas out. Oh shoot, I need to let's like blow this guy back. Oh shoot, that got rid of that. Oh, I can just put another one down. Oh, so that's what it does. Yeah, stop that. Will that go away? I hope it does. Oh, this guy's getting kind of close. Let's push him back. Uh, that does not look like it's going to go away. Here, let's dig you up. And get another desk lobber there to like help out in that row. Okay, so like just by defending them, right? It makes the the, the okay it closed. Yeah, so just by defending them, it kind of makes the the whole mini game easier. That's what I'm gathering. Okay, let's dig you up. We can pop this piano too. to get more of these sunflowers. Where's the piano at? I don't see a piano. Just push that, all that back. I wonder if I should just dig up the... I, I, I don't know if I want to test out digging up the spike weed, because I know it... Because it seems like when they... Um, oh, we need to do something about this gargantuar. If I can get a Moonflower out here, that'd be great. There we go, and then get a Groomrose out. Oh, get that piano away from me. Oh, shoot. There's a rift there that just broke. I just need to pop the pianos. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think we're still fine. Well, let's dig up this uh, last dust globber in that row. So now every row should be frostied. Got two plant food to spare. I'm gonna hurricane the middle row again, get rid of that bug. Is that Grimrose not gonna do anything? All right. Okay, that doesn't seem very far. This might actually be just a plant food moment. Let's do this. Let's see, is this rift contained? No, it's not. Yeah, I love having the tier one spike weed here just to deal, or the tier three to just deal with all the pianos. Oh, this, yeah, this row's getting a little hard to control here. Contain that rift. Yeah, let's take up the sunflower. Don't really need it. I should have gotten rid of that sunflower ages ago. Yeah, at least, oh no, yeah, they're gonna start opening these rifts soon. Push that back, I need to deal with the pianos. Well, actually, the pianos don't really seem to, to be that big of an issue, because I can kill them, like, 
relatively fast. As long as I defend the one, like, super up front, I think I'll be fine. Because that's the hardest one to defend, because so far up. Let's put this back. Dude, you're a little in the back, ain't you? I don't want you that close. I love the Grim Rose actually. It's like surprisingly good at like getting rid of the high the high health guys. Just put another Grim Rose there to deal with those Gargantuars. I just want these stupid pianos to die. But it's so hard to like see them. Hey, don't touch my, don't touch my um, flowers. I need those. Like, it is it's so hard to, like, place things down because of the stupid ice block imps thing constantly happening. Yeah, let's do this up top. I see a lot of bugs. There we go. I think a uh, kill is quite good. I might even want to wanted to have tiered it up to reduce the cooldown on that. Let's see, that guy's a little too far up from my chase. Just look at yeah, just look at all the bugs I'm getting rid of as a result of all that. I think the snow pea was definitely worth it too. Oh, they killed my moonflower! How dare you! Hey, all the rifts are still contained. Again, I'm still wondering if it would have been possible for me to um. What am I trying to say? Just like gotten rid of the spike weed and replaced them with more shadow plants. I mean, like, I would, I think five more dust clobbers would have been amazing. Right, I love how I can just instantly kill pianos. It's really nice. At the meager cost of 50 sun for just one tier 3 spike weed, you too can get rid of a, a piano. There we go, alright. I mean, that minigame wasn't so bad, but I mean, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am wondering if I could have put shadow plants down on those little rift spots. Because I know, like, technically they're considered ground plants now in this mod, but I'm not sure if that would have worked. I didn't want to just dig them all up and then find out it didn't, you know? It didn't work. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll be moving back onto another uh, epic quest, and we'll probably do three episodes of that. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Uh, hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!